Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another empties product reviews video. Alright, so I have all of my stuff here that I've used up over the last month or so about a month a little over a month um, and I'm gonna go through it all with you let you know what my thoughts were when I finish a product am I repurchasing it am I happy it's done because I hate it <laughs> um, all the things I want to share with you my trash so as always everything's linked down below in case you're curious to check out anything my opinions are my own obviously if you like one of these products that I mentioned that I don't like or you don't like a product that I mentioned that I do like that's okay. Everyone is different, but I wanted to share with you um, some of my empties and give you mini reviews on whether or not I'm repurchasing or not. So let's dive in. Um, if you're not new here, you know. We go through one of these every single month. Um, both Scott and I use it. We both suffer from dry scalp every once in a while. So the Dove Dermacare, specifically, this is the only combination that ever works for me personally, it's the coconut hydration. So good, you can get it at Target. It's like five bucks, it's awesome. I always have backups of it because it's that good and I never wanna run out. Um, I finished up this body lotion. This is from Tula. I really liked this. Um, I find that I'm really, really, really picky with lotions, like insanely picky with lotions. And I still haven't found my like all time holy grail I kind of have the Naturium one is really really good this is good I like the way it looks on my skin I like the way it feels on my skin but I think it's a little thick for me personally as a daytime moisturizer and that's the only time I would really wear this because it has like a glow to it which was beautiful but I feel like it can be a little bit thick especially in like humid climates um, it can feel a little bit thick on the skin but overall it's really pretty it's a great cream I think it I like this better than the boom boom cream or bum bum cream from sol de janeiro because it's better for you better ingredients things like that um and it has that same like effect that glowy beautifulness so i am sad that i ran out of that i do really like it um i don't think i'm gonna run out and repurchase it now but it is something that i would repurchase in the future um i like that you can now get tula at sephora and things like that because i feel like i'll be more inclined to buy it there personally but I do have a discount code if you're curious it's always linked here um if you want to check out Tula this is no way sponsored by them but I have a coupon code for them this guy I received in PR from uh Liquid IV and y'all this is good and one of you said that you work with Dermalogica in your like spa or something like that and the serum to this is really amazing so I might try that out this is hyaluronic ceramide ceramide mist um, it's supposed to strengthen the skin barrier, hydrate the skin, and that is exactly what it did. I love using a spray like toner before I use any sort of serums. So I help think feel like it helps it like soak in better and whatnot. And I really did like this a lot. Um, I would repurchase this again. I love Dermalogica. I use a couple of their products and this one was amazing, especially for just like a quick go. It left your skin not feeling tight. Um, like, you know, when you first wash your face and your skin can feel a little tight if you're on the drier side, this was amazing for alleviating that. The spray was nice. Nothing like amazing, but it was really, really good. Great product. So sad I'm out of that. I would repurchase that. Nail polish remover. Used up this guy. Um, I like this one. It's got 96% acetone. Uh, I feel like it's helps remove the polish but doesn't strip my skin and leave it feeling really dry and nasty i already repurchased another one of these this exact one i got at a target i just like the drive up situation um if you're curious to check out my nail care routine video i will link it down below but overall this is a good polish remover are we surprised no i've been really on my sunscreen game for i would say probably almost for the past year now um this is the elta md tinted SPF I use only the UV daily the UV clear tends to pill up underneath my makeup now it just depends what makeup you use what base your makeup is primer and whatnot I notice it pills underneath my primer every time so I go with the UV daily SPF 40 it's tinted it's beautiful I wear this underneath my makeup I wear this without any makeup it is amazing I do not leave the house without this stuff I don't even really leave my or start the day without that stuff. I'm serious. 
Okay, this guy right here, this is the IGK. Oh, I've already repurchased this, if you don't know. <laughs> I have so many of them. Um, this is the IGK First Class Dry Shampoo. This used to be my favorite dry shampoo when I worked for Sephora. Like, when I left there, I bought like six of them because I didn't want to lose my discount. I loved it that much. And then I was just like, ah, drugstore is fine. Like, it's no big deal, right? Because this is pricey. It's like 32 bucks for like the big size. But you guys, I fell back in love with it. I love it. It's so good. Um, and so I bought the full size bottle of it. I'm trying to. It's good. I bought it. Uh, I like the smell of it. I like the consistency of it. I just, it's a really good dry shampoo. So I did splurge on it. Will I splurge on it like as an everyday dry shampoo? Probably not, but I honestly feel that I wash my hair more frequently with my short hair. Um, so I don't use as much dry shampoo. So that's currently my little routine. Speaking of hair care, finished up the, another bottle of the JVN pre-shampoo scalp oil. I love this. I do this probably like before I'm about to really deep wash my hair. I don't do this every single time. I do notice that it does help the condition of my scalp. I suffer from psoriasis on my scalp every once in a while and this I feel like has helped. Um, I do this specifically though before I'm about to do like a detox to my scalp. Um, when I'm like it's a full on like get everything out of my hair sort of day. I start with this. You put this on, comes in a dropper, put this on your scalp. It also says to put it on your ends, but I really just put it on my scalp. I will run a little bit through my ends. Um, let it sit for 15 minutes, brush it through, and then shampoo it out in the shower. You definitely need to do at least a double cleanse to get it out, but I find that it just really helps my scalp from just getting nasty. It helps kind of clarify it, and I really like it. Um, so when I moved here, you guys, I was dealing with really, really, oh, I would repurchase this. I keep going after, <laughs> I would repurchase this. I haven't repurchased it yet, but I will. That's my second bottle. It's, it's good. Um, the Tatcha Water Cream. Uh, when I moved here, I realized that I needed more hydration back into my life on multiple levels. I needed to drink more water. I need to drink less caffeine. I have not drank less caffeine, but I have started to drink more water, um, because the humidity in Dallas kept my skin so, like, plump and hydrated at all times and when I moved here it's humid here but not like Dallas and so my skin was going through it you guys like I was dry I was flaky I was tight I'm definitely my skin is definitely not where it needs to be uh, but I think it just needs to adjust to this new climate and I'm still trying to find the perfect product so I busted this out because there's a lot of information out there that says moisturizers and hydrators are different so your moisturizers are like those oil-based products thick and whatnot and they're moisturizing and softening for the skin but hydration is water like you need water in your skin right so i wanted to switch to a water based moisturizer and this is the water cream by tatcha and i'm not even gonna lie to you i don't like it it's just it's all right but i don't love it enough to like say yes you need this for like 70 bucks I love the belief the belief is 10,000 times better than this and it's like half the price it's so much better I love it I like Tatcha don't get me wrong I really do I think they have some amazing products I love their dewy skin cream it's awesome but as like something that was needing for like desperate hydration this did not give me enough hydration to my skin and I thought because it said water cream it would give me enough hydration and it didn't now I do know that's geared more towards oily skin but like still, it's got like it's water, like it should hydrate my skin and it just did not do that. So this is, this little sample is the one that I used up and I bought the full size of because I saw this in my collection once I finished this and I was like, this didn't do enough for me. I went in with this because I feel like with a hydrator cream, you can notice a difference pretty quickly. Yes, you need to continue to use it to see full benefits, but you notice that like plump to the skin, you notice that like not dry tight feeling and whatnot so I definitely noticed that with this guy instantly when I started using it like I could tell and I've been using it now for almost two months I used up this one and then I bought the big one and it has changed the tightness the dryness the flakiness in my skin um I was breaking out a lot because my skin was so dry and I was just having it was just 
a mess but this stuff brought myself back to life and this is the belief true cream aqua bomb the aqua bomb they say it's more for oily skin but i disagree i think it's the perfect consistency i love it i love that it's light and jelly and hydrating so yes i've already repurchased it i will continue to repurchase that moisturizer or hydrator i really freaking love it another product that i feel like has significantly helped my skin and you guys know I've talked about this a million times. I love the Ceramiden um, line from Dr. Jar. I feel like if you are dealing with really dry skin, like really just irritated, like you can tell your skin is not balanced at that moment, like it's patchy or it's feeling like your barrier is damaged, this line is so good. This is like a lightweight, you can kind of layer it under for daytime, but you can also use it at nighttime. Um, I love this product. I also love their face cream that they have, just like their original cream. Right now, I'm currently using their Sikapair line, um, and I've been loving it. It's really helped, helped my skin, like sincerely. But this and their cream is amazing, and it's the moisturizer that I use in the winter primarily. I feel like it's really thick, and it's a moisturizer, not a hydrator. But this, I feel like, is really hydrating. It's a thicker, kind of serum -y sort of toner awesome for just like layering and you can put this underneath your makeup and it doesn't pill underneath your makeup but it provides like lasting hydration throughout the day we got another hydrating product this mask is probably one of my favorite hydrating masks i think that i've ever tried and i've repurchased so many of these and i will repurchase this one again it is the glam glow um thirsty mud hydrating treatment mask i just feel like glam glow's masks are really good and I know like when they first started like I was like you know they were just like hyped and I don't know if I didn't know like skincare ingredients and what to look for um and then when I started looking at the ingredients of their mask I was like these are actually really good especially their um what's it called the glam glow the one in the white packaging that's like detox that one's got like really good acids in it and it's it's a no wonder why it clears acne right but this i just feel like is the perfect like thick like i don't know it's amazing it's like a kind of see it's coconutty it's so it's one of those masks that no matter what i feel like it's really hydrating my skin and i will be repurchasing that especially for the winter without a doubt um i finished up one of these little mini moroccan oil dry texture sprays i really like this um i was keeping it in my office to just kind of like zhuzh up my short hair there's nothing. You know when there's just aerosol left in the can? You can tell. Um, I really liked this. I would repurchase the full size. I've had the re the full size of this. I feel like Moroccan Oils hair products, that's, I mean, they're, they're super famous. I like them. Um, I always tend to switch between Moroccan Oil and Dry Bar. And Dry Bar, I have a Dry Bar texture spray and then I have a Bumble and Bubble. When I run out, I'd probably repurchase this one again because I like the scent of it. I like the, like, it's enough like grittiness and texture without feeling like disgusting so i like that this i'm really sad about and i know it's based off of my problems that i did this is the keels creamy eye treatment with avocado you guys know this is one of my favorite eye creams of all time um and i've never bought the big one before i only bought the little one but i don't know if you guys can see the separation that happens in there it's unusable like it's literally like water and goo and it's because I was not rinsing my hands before like I would apply like my serum and then I would apply my eye cream or whatever the case may be. I was mixing like unintentional, unintentionally mixing the products in and it caused the breakdown of this. And I'm really bummed about it because like I had like a good amount left and it just separated and became just like not even like it's just disgusting so i'm really sad about that i don't blame the eye cream like i said i've used this eye cream for years and years um i blame my application of the eye cream and mixing um ingredients in there that caused this to break down which is super sad so if i were to buy it in the future i would only buy the small one because i think it also has to do with the fact that i've had this one for a really long time and technically it says it's only good for six months which i don't really go through it that fast so just something to keep in mind it is still one of my favorite eye creams but currently i'm using the belief eye cream and it is amazing okay i finished up this i've had this forever um it is the Caudalie premier crew 
serum anti-aging serum they've changed their package since this um and honestly i didn't even realize that it was like, empty like in my um my skincare thing and i pulled it out to try to use it and i had like a couple uses left of it it's okay i don't think it's like amazing i don't think it's worth like 200 bucks which i think is what it's what it runs for i don't think it's worth all of that um i do like it but i don't think it's worth it so i would not be repurchasing that um but i know a lot of people really really love it just i have another one and i am using it every so often but i just feel like i don't notice anything insane with it and i just feel like it, maybe if you have like perfect skin that's just like aging like you don't have acne or you don't have enlarged pores or clogged pores or anything like that maybe that's a good serum to use but i just find i have better results with a retinol and a lactic acid use up another one of my primers this is my favorite primer i will never steer from it it is the benefit professional so good I already have backups i love this lip balm i actually have another one that i need to throw away it's in a purse around here somewhere because i've used it all up and I will say that I do have some still here and here, but Arlo loves this stuff. My two-year-old, and he will just like, he grabs it goes, I want some. And he just like starts putting it in, and then he just puts it in his mouth. So I'm not trying to save this anymore because it's disgusting. I just literally have kept it in my nightside table because he always likes to play with lip gloss. So <laughs> that one's done. I love this though. It's the, sorry, I didn't even say. Too Faced um hangover rx pillow bomb and i think you can only get the pillow bomb at ulta if i'm correct maybe not but the banana is my favorite i do also have the watermelon which is good but the banana superior i think i've gone through like three or four of these it's a really good like thick hydrating bomb that like stays on your lips um and doesn't irritate my lips and make them feel chapped over time um, speaking of another lip product, I finished up the Laneige Sleep Mask. I've gone through probably four of these, and honestly, I love it. It's good, but I like the Lawless, Flawless, or forget the filler, lip balm in the pot better. I know it's pricier and it's less product, but honestly, it's so good. And this, I feel like I struggle to use it within the year. It says it's a year um, and then it goes bad. So I feel like the Lawless, I I just will use it all in the air. It's good. It's so much thicker. And I feel like it actually like plumps my lips when I wake up in the morning. Like I feel like my lips look hydrated and plumped. So I would repurchase this, yes. But right now I'm loving the Lawless. I'm going to see how I feel once I finish the whole thing. Um, and debate which one I'm going to purchase next. But I knew I was running out of this and I picked up a Lawless. So I like it, but not enough to rebuy it at this moment. I used up another little beauty sponge. These I get off Amazon, so affordable. Um, I do probably throw them away every like two months or so because they get kind of backed up because I do use a lot of like oil-based, um, SPF-based foundations, <laughs> words. Um, so I feel like they don't come clean as easy because I don't wash them right away. I wash them the next morning, so. But they're super cheap and they're really good and I continue to repurchase them. Finished up a razor head. I wanted to share this because the Harry's razor is like one of my favorites. The blades are affordable. The razor is really nice. It's just a really good razor. I got mine at Target. I already picked up refills for it because it's awesome and I love it. And this blade lasted me, y'all, so long. Like I'm embarrassed to tell you how long I've used that for. But it's been a really long time. Um, I finished up this guy. This is actually the Drunk Elephant A Passioni Retinol Cream. This was in my travel um, bag that I cleaned out and realized this was empty. Slash, it also probably is way expired. I like the Drunk Elephant Retinol. I actually am still working through the large one in my bathroom because I repurchased it after. I've gone through so many of these. But I think, honestly, though, in compared to, or being compared to my Sunday Riley Retinol, I like that one better. I just feel like the consistency, it's easier to spread on my skin. It's the right amount of potency for my skin's needs. Because retinol, you've got to figure out which what works best for you. Um, some retinols can be just too strong. Some of the ingredients can be really drying. I don't find that this is drying. I just didn't find that it was doing as much as my Sunday Riley one. Does. So if you're looking for a good retinol, this is a good one, but I still prefer my Sunday Riley. But like I said, everyone's skin is different and likes different ingredients. So you might actually like this. This is good. I'm not saying it's not, but I prefer my Sunday Riley. 
over that. This Belief um, Aqua Bomb Hydrating Toner I got in that kit when I bought the full size of the Aqua Bomb, and I it's so good. It's so good. It is, I, I mean, clearly, I use the whole thing within like a month. I use this as kind of like an essence, so I just kind of do that and then put it on before, after I wash my face, before I put on serums, and I really just like it. It's basically think of this step, but in a much, much thinner step. So I would go in with this and then go with that. Yes, I know, I'm extra, but it's really good stuff, and I will be repurchasing more from the Belief Aqua Balm Hydrating Line because it is because it is. So amazing. I finished up another ring cleaner. I think I've gone through two or three of these. These look like um, like whitening pens, but you just clean your ring with it. It's so good. I already ordered another one. I anybody who I who just got engaged, I'm like, you need one of these. They're so good. It's the Dazzle Diamond Dazzle Stick um, ring cleaner. You can get off Amazon for like ten bucks. I also, when I was cleaning out my travel bag, I realized that I finished up this guy. This is the Origins High Potency Night A Mins. This is really freaking good, thick, hydrating night cream. I actually really like this a lot. I have a ton of mini samples, so I will continue to go through that. But they're, it's a really nice, thick cream. Um, like if I'm tra traveling somewhere where it's really dry, this is like my go-to. It feels like almost like an overnight mask. It's that thick. Speaking of masks, the Innisfree Pore Clearing Clay Mask. I've already purchased another one of these. This was, this has really replaced my Glam Glow. I do love my Super Mud. Oh, I hate that I'm saying that. But it's so affordable and it's really good. It has lactic acid in it, so it's an AHA. So it, like, obviously clears out your pores with clay and stuff, but it also uses, um, chemical exfoliants to get your skin feeling really clear and clean. I use this probably twice a week and it is so good, especially when my skin is like freaking out and breaking out. Um, sometimes I'll just use it in areas where I need it the most, like right here, but it's good. It's so, so affordable, so affordable. So I absolutely love that. If you're looking for more of a budget friendly um, mask that does something similar like the Super Mud, try that one out. Uh, this again from my travel bag, this is the Drunk Elephant Marula virgin facial oil it's good i like this oil no problems with it whatsoever it's just really pricey so i have a bunch of minis and i also have another full size so i will continue using them but i don't know if i would pay full price for this to be honest with you because i just feel like trader joe's sells it so <laughs> okay another and my last product actually skincare is bondi sands they had sent me over some of their skincare and honestly y'all i was so impressed with their line like it's really affordable and it's really good so this is their hyaluronic acid serum i switched over to the ordinary one but this one was more of like a jelly consistency um versus the ordinary which is very like liquidy serum-y i like both of them they're really good i like the container version of this over the glass of the ordinary just because it's easier to travel with but really good stuff if you're looking for affordable skincare definitely check out bondi i feel like they use a lot of really good like potent ingredients for their whole line that you don't typically just find in drugs drugstore skincare so i really do like this line and was very impressed with some of their products this and specifically the um their spirulina detox mask is really good as well so yeah I did really like this. I would repurchase this. I wish it was in, I actually don't know, is this in American Drug Stores or not? I'm not sure, but I'm using the Ordinary one and I like that one as well and I would imagine they're comparable in price. So that is it. Those are all of my empties. That's everything I used up. My little mini reviews, my thoughts, all of that stuff. Everything will be linked down below if you're curious to check out anything, check out pricing, checking out where you can find any of these products if you're curious. Um, I love filming these videos. I hope you guys do as well. And thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.